I'm good. Awesome. Hey, everybody. It's April 4th, and I'm Elizabeth, Community Manager for Chaos. Um, you are at the Chaos Weekly Community Call, and this meeting is for going over just general stuff that's happening in chaos, uh, that stuff that we need to discuss as a community. Um, and also, just as a quick reminder, this meeting is under the Chaos Code of Conduct, so just keep that in mind as you interact with us. And we don't care if you have your cameras off. Obviously, there's a bunch of folks that have their cameras off. Totally fine. Um, or you can leave it on, whatever you want. Um, it's totally up to you because we don't care. We love you anyway, either way. Um, here's the meeting minutes. If anybody needs them, we can jump them in the chat again, if you'd like. Um, add your name and tell us what your favorite color is. That would be great. Kevin, you did not put your favorite color, which is also completely valid if you can't just can't decide you could oh, just sorry like all the colors of the rainbow you could just do rainbow that would be totally fine <laughs> sorry to put you on the spot kevin <laughs> blue i love it okay uh, okay we'll jump right into it because we do need to um cut this meeting a little short um, as you know if you've been around chaos for a little bit um we are going to take the last half of the meeting and, and uh, do some chaos comp planning so um yeah um, first thing is, I just wanted to say thank you for covering for me. All my friends have been out for a little bit, and in case you hadn't heard, I ha I did have a death in the family, so I really appreciate everybody just jumping in and covering for me. Matt, Sean, Don, Kevin, y'all are awesome. Um, Ruth, everybody, I really, really appreciate it. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it, and I will try not to get teary <laughs> as I'm thanking everybody for being so awesome. Um, <clears throat> so um, the next item on our agenda is to uh, just let you know we had been trying to think of ways to spread the word about community events, um, either people talking at, at conferences, either about chaos or, or sometimes even not, um, and also open CFPs. We kind of, we, we tried putting these in a Google Doc. Um, that was maybe not the best, it wasn't working the, as well as we had hoped. So we're just going to encourage everybody to post something in discourse. You can do it under the community category, and if you just want to give it a tag of conferences, that would be awesome. Um, so if you're speaking at an event, just post something, um, your name, the event, what your titles or what your talk's about, and then a link to your talk. And then um, if you know or if you see an event that you think might be of interest to this community, um, feel free to put something again in, in discourse that might be an, an open CFP that folks might be interested in. So that way, if you want to just know about that, you can subscribe to the conferences tag. So if something new comes up, you can have an email about that. And you can do all of that stuff in your discourse preferences under your account. Um, so we're going to try that and <laughs> see if that works a little bit better. Um, and if it doesn't, we'll think of something else. But for now, it's going to be just kind of up to the individual to post something to spread the word about their talk. Is there any questions about that? So it is, is it Open Source Conferences 2023? We have that. Is that a tag? Uh, it's, I don't know all the words. Is that a? It's that. Okay, let's see what that is. Uh, oh, oh, it's just a thread. Okay, so yes, oh, I even started it. I didn't even remember starting <laughs> Go me. Okay, you can add it to this thread if you want. Um, it's right. Actually, let's put this in. And I didn't even tag it. That's how good I am. I didn't even tag it. Can we can we tag it? I don't know how to do it now after the fact. Okay, I'll figure it out. Uh, let's put this thread here. So never mind this, and just put it in in that thread. There we go. And yes, Sophia, I do have a a sheet and it was like a lot of things around KubeCon, I think, folks participating in that. And so it just seemed a little bit clunky to try to keep that posted. So that's why we're trying this. All right. Any other questions or comments? Thanks for bringing that up, Matt. I totally forgot yeah, about sure. that. Sure. <laughs> it's not that I remembered, it's just that I was looking through and saw it. So <laughs> fantastic. To be Okay, um, the next item on our agenda is just some updates from the communications working group. 
Um, the first one is we have been um, talking about AI generated content um, and the use of chat GPT and things. Um, and I think the group has decided that we, just to make things simpler, we are not gonna accept that. So um, we're hoping for only original content in blog posts. So if you're writing something for chaos, um, just just write it. <laughs> Please try not to use AI generated content, at least for right now. Um, we would really prefer original content <clears throat> on that. And then the second thing is we are trying out, or going to be trying out, I haven't um, started it yet, that's on me. Um, we're going to be trying out CoSchedule, which is um, a tool that can be used to schedule um, posts, social media posts, help consolidate everything into one place. Because right now it's all kind of Twitter and Mastodon and <clears throat> the blog and everything is just kind of siloed and doing its own thing. Um, there is a few, there are, I should say, there are a few bridges um, with Slack and a few bots that automate some things, but we are going to try this co-schedule tool to just kind of make everything a little bit easier and simpler for those of us who are working in that space. So, any questions uh, about Elizabeth? Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah, I like the first point you raised against uh, content generated by uh, this uh, large language model. But I don't know if you have any clear procedure to make sure it is not. Because I don't think uh, leaving it at the discretion of authors is sufficient enough to, for whatever purpose or decision that you came to that conclusion. I mean, there are a couple of ways you can detect that and flag it. So are you thinking of implementing some of those strategies to flag them and to make sure those uh, whatever your objective of not uh, integrating it right now is made uh that's a great point i think um there are like you said there are some tools that if you run a bit of text through them it will um, calculate the probability that it was uh, ai generated content um, so we definitely can use one of those tools um, to kind of flag and then we would also then just double check with that person to make sure that you know, that, yeah, they have used it. And um, uh, we would encourage them to rewrite <laughs> rewrite the post in, uh, just using their own words and their own thoughts and ideas. Because um, that can't be, you know, that's, that's something very special and everybody has their own ideas and voices. And so we just want to um, highlight that instead of just something that comes from a computer. So um, yeah, that's a great point, Armstrong. And we haven't really formalized anything I would say that if um, something um, maybe doesn't seem quite right, we would probably run it through those one of those tools to to see and um, go go from there. But I would really like to actually hear from some of the professors in the group that also deal with this for from their students uh, submitting some some uh, content that might be AI generated. Other other tools that y'all use. Um, to Kevin's point in the chat. I kind of just ask, typically, <laughs> if it feels um, feels like it's it's being generated by some tool. That's just usually the first place I start. Yeah, there it's um, it's pretty. I mean, if if you work with students, there's a ambiguity or generality in the language and a lack of specificity that tends to be a pretty clear signal like it reads great but it's not saying anything really so i mean you can usually pick it up and i think our, we're probably best off just having an honor system and if we do suspect asking the author i had i had read one blog post where somewhere in some notes it was stated up front that partly it was written in chat gpt and i just asked the question on slack and the author changed it um, I wasn't trying to enforce any policy, really. I was just trying to follow up on a discussion I saw in some meeting notes. Um, and I think the policy of not using ChatGPT makes sense. Yeah, I think that kind of was the consensus from the group. And um, just to be clear, we uh, will or we're working on doing a template for blog posts. So if someone is interested in writing something, there will be a template and that will be kind of in there as well as just some general guidelines for folks. So they they will know that up front as well. So 
And and to, to your point, Sean, I think we're both thinking of the same post and that's actually what spurred this conversation. So it's great. Like this is like, you know, new new territory for, for an old person like me anyway. So um, well, I've only played with it a little bit. So this is great. Like this is the kind of conversations that I love to have in the community. Um, Cause I'm like, is it just me <laughs> you know, or is that the consensus? So that seemed to be the consensus is that we would prefer original content. Any other questions, comments, concerns, ideas? Okay, let's move on. Um, the next one is about the evolution working group. And as far as I understand, again, I have been out for a little bit, so I'm not sure um, how where these conversations took place or how it came to be, but um, we are merging the evolution working group in with Common. So those conversations will now happen in common, which you, I mean, of course, anybody's welcome to attend. Um, Armstrong, is, is there any other context or anything else you want to mention about this? Or Matt, whoever. Um, they, uh, hello? Yeah, go ahead. I think we discussed, no, we had a good discussion last week okay. and I think everything was clarified. Okay. So it's just me that didn't really have a ton of context. <laughs> totally valid, completely valid. Um, I just wanted to make sure everybody knew that that's kind of the direction that we're going in. Um, and Matt said that he took it off the calendar, I believe, right? Yeah, I did. And, we'll, and then we'll just need to kind of filter that out throughout the chaos land, <laughs> like because I'm sure it's mentioned in quite a few places. So we'll just need to clarify and mention that in, in the website and all the other places. For a, for a little bit of context, I think one of the one of the reasons we're doing this is to kind of uh, because evolution and common are both kind of places where metrics are or metrics works are, is still being defined. So kind of merging them together is kind of a, I think it's helpful for both communities. And to be honest, I, th I think both those communities may have they have a lot of overlap anyway. So it might actually just mean one less meeting for some people. That's fair. <laughs> and I, I appreciate that <laughs> as yeah. well. No one's going to cry over one less meeting. <laughs> I do think we need to go in, I just put them in the minutes, but just take a look at the issues that are in evolution. And you can just, you can reassign issues to different working group or different repos, can't you? I think so, yeah. Yeah, you know, I know so, I know you can. Okay. So just probably clear that out and assign them to common and then keep keep the evolution repository just open and public. Oh yeah. That's no. about it. Yeah. We could um, archive it so that people don't try to continue to make changes there. Okay. Unless unless we wanna unless we think we're gonna make updates to some of the metrics that like are we gonna leave the metrics there? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Then we probably don't want to archive it because if there are typos or things, changes to the metrics, we'll need to make them in that repo. Okay. Maybe just update the README. That says something to that effect. Okay. Yeah. So we do have a little bit of this of an issue with the uh uh, I think the, the value repository is going to have a similar issue, so mm -hmm. it's not going to be owned by anyone because the the OSPO working group has kind of taken over that spot, but they may mm -hmm. not take over the repository. Yeah. Uh, so, so maybe thinking about how we handle, I, I think I am kind of in favor of archiving the repositories in the future, but I don't think uh, I wouldn't be in an, in a hurry to do it. I think maybe we should take our time and kind of figure out what to do with them. Sounds good. Uh, maybe for the time being, we should ask the common working group if they can keep an eye on the value repository as well, in addition to the evolution. That'd be something we could add to the uh, agenda to maybe discuss in common. Um, yeah, I, I haven't even, there's a little bit of work. So I, on the, just so folks know, I had just renamed the value 
repository to OSPO and that was a mistake. So I'm going to put it back to value um, just because there's content that's related to value there. Um, and so I just need to make a new OSPO repository, but then to your point, Kevin, once that's back in order, uh, probably kind of the same questions we have with the evolution working group repo. Okay, anything else with this we want to talk about? Okay, let's go on. Um, ChaosCon North America, we have posted the schedule in case anybody missed it, which you can find here, down here under schedule. Imagine that. Um, so that's all set. And we have. Um, uh, there will be a live stream available for folks who can't attend in person, um, but during the breakout sessions, there will just be a break for those who are um, attending virtually. There won't be any kind of filler for you, so you'll just have a break during that time. And you do have to register for OSSNA. Uh, I'm not sure. Does anybody know how much a virtual ticket is to OSSNA? Off the top of their head. I know our tickets are free. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I was just curious for anybody who might be interested. And our current registration numbers look pretty good, um, considering it's you know a month away, um, <laughs> That's especially <a> virtually. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of insane. Yeah, and this uh, I think the ChaosCon committee has um, talked about this. This is one reason why we're not going to have any filler content or try to manage any kind of breakout discussions virtually, because yeah, that's a lot of folks. <laughs> Um, do we have a cap for in person? That's a great question. I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, I would imagine so, just based on room yeah. size. Yeah, we can look at that because we might have to. It it's got to be pretty close to fifty. <laughs> yeah. So that's exciting. That's really exciting. That's really really exciting. We we do. I mean, fifty is kind of a number that we have on most chaos cons, but I always feel like we're a little below fifty you know, like right at 50, but a little below. It, for the actual people who show up, you mean? Yeah, no, yeah. just in terms of people oh. who register. Gotcha. So we're always close, but this seems definitely more than usual. Yeah, the virtual registrations are extraordinarily high. So I'm thinking we must, they must be getting promoted in the registration site somehow. Okay, any questions about that as far as for, for those of us, uh, those of you who are not on the planning committee, do you have any questions or comments, anything you want to know about? Okay, so let's go on. ChaosCon Africa. I was super excited because I did read back through the agenda for the last few weeks, so I was super excited to see this. Um, is there anybody who does have an update on that that's on the call? Maybe Mary Blessing? I'm not sure. I don't want to put you on the spot. I don't know if you're involved in that. Um, I have a, I can give an update to the best of my ability. So okay. um, it is going to be in June in Lagos. And I think some of the information is down below, maybe. Um, there you go. And so it is being co-located with an event. Um, I know that I've been talking with Ruth to put together the, a prospectus for support. Um, she put together a, a budget that she had shared with me. And so uh, looking for ways to get that uh, financially supported, I think at the moment right now. So that's kind of the update. Awesome. Do we know if um, registrations open for it yet or anything like that? That I don't know. Okay. Like, I don't know how that's being handled. Oh, but I. Oh, no. Yeah, we. Are you just not open yet? Okay. Yeah. At the last at the last meeting, there was still some discussion about how 
how to do that or what what uh, what platform they were going to use. Oh, can anyone hear me now? Yes. Okay, sorry, let's go. So there's no really different opening up yet. Um, we're looking to like um, be sure we get in funding before we open up registration and also um, start checking out for um, venues. So, yeah. So Mary Blessing, you said you're still looking for venues. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. But we needed to be sure of the fun. Okay, thank you, Mary Blessing, and keep us posted on that um, if you can. That'd be great. I think that's really awesome. I'm very excited about that. Any other questions or comments? Okay. Um, oh, I just wanted to let everyone know there was a um, onboarding schedule or onboarding session scheduled for tomorrow. Uh, Ruth and I are reworking these, so we went ahead and canceled that. So if anybody was planning on attending that, um, just hang tight. We have some ideas on how we can rework these to make them a little bit better for everybody involved. Um, we will still continue to do these, but we're just going to change things up a little bit. So that's been taken off the calendar. That's canceled. Um, sorry. <laughs> if anybody was super excited about attending that, I apologize. <laughs> but again, hang tight and we'll, we'll get you uh, to the next one for sure. Is there anything else? We have four minutes before we're gonna. Anything else? Uh, hi, Elizabeth. Hi. Hi, Elizabeth. Oh yeah. So I just wanted to like ask. Um, first, welcome back, and I wanted to know if um, we have any new schedule for the new badges onboarding. Yeah. Oh, great question. Great question. Let me. Uh, Yes, let me think about that. Um, so Mary Blessing, uh, what she's asking is about the new Badgers and the orientation for new Badgers. That was something that was supposed to happen right before I, I had to step away from chaos for a few weeks. So um, I will reschedule that. Let me just put an action item here for me to do that. Um, and we'll, we'll keep it at the same time slot that we were going to use before, where which was like the second half of a Badger meeting, a ba uh, DEI badging meeting. So um, that's great. Thank you so much. So I'll just grab one of those probably in the upcoming weeks. Right. I'll let you know. I'll probably post right. that in um, the badging uh, Slack. Anything else to add to the agenda real quick? We got two minutes. Okay, well, I'm gonna stop sharing. And I think we can use now the rest of the time for chaos comp planning, chaos 